All right, here's what I got today. I'm gonna hand hold this for you. It's uh, the day before New Year's Eve. I have, uh, I have Anthony coming from High Torque. He's gonna come out and uh, calibrate some of my, some of my uh, torque wrenches. Uh, I'm hoping that we can do the Lion machine, uh, but I don't think he's certified yet to do that. It requires some uh, like electronic certification. So I'll probably have to send my center lock tool in, uh, but we'll ask him about that when he gets here. Uh, but uh, this is pretty cool. They run a service all over the country uh, where I'll try to get you some of the areas for, where they come out and you'll calibrate your stuff for, you know, a reasonable sum of money. So uh, he'll be here in a minute. We'll get started. Okay, so High Torque is the company that makes my special uh, torque wrench, the, uh, the one that does the center lock removal. Uh, and Anthony is uh, in Tampa and they travel around. They have uh, specific machines. Uh, to calibrate torque wrenches. Now I have a frickin' bunch of them, but I don't know that I wanna, most of them are brand new, so I really don't wanna fork out 5,000 bucks to, to, to change, to, to torque all, or to uh, set the spec on all my torque wrenches, but he's gonna show us how this is done. And they have, uh, they have guys all over the country that you can have come out to your place to, uh, to do calibrations. Now, we, we were gonna do, um, Anthony's only been with the company for a few months, so he doesn't have the uh, certification yet to do the, uh, to do the, the uh, Lion machine, the center lock remover. So I'm gonna send that one in. You, we can overnight it if you don't have someone in your area. But uh, they have these vans all over the country that they drive around and can calibrate all of your, uh, your no matter what your torque wrench is, click style, digital style, um, Snap-on, Sonic, whatever you got all right so here's what it costs you know a quarter inch 65 bucks 60 you know so somewhere between you know 100 bucks and 65 and 100 bucks to have them do it they'll do you know pneumatic tools so it'd be 150 bucks to do that pneumatic one uh i believe so yeah yeah that's what it says here the the one i have inside so the what colorado california florida iowa texas and it shows you all the trucks throughout the country that'll service you know, a certain amount of area and you can always call and, and have a authorized technician come out and uh, dial in your stuff. You know, if you're a detailer and you're doing center locks, you probably want to have your, your torque wrench, especially if you have one of these, these big boys, you want to have it calibrated to spec so you're not getting in trouble by uh, messing something up if you're, if you're in business. but. For me, it's just nice to have it be accurate. Uh, other things in here, like hydraulic ratchet heads, and some of these go up to uh, 40,000 foot pounds. Yeah. On the bigger ones. And then they have low clearance tools, like this link right here, to get so, in tight spots. So you do calibrations, but also service all the tools that, you know, High Torque does all kinds of industry Correct, specific yeah. stuff all over the world. Yep, we service them, we rebuild them, we calibrate them on site. That's cool. Mm hmm. So the software is called HiCal. Is this all high torque proprietary stuff that they've yes. developed? And so do you put like a little sticker on it or something? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. perfect. So I don't know which ones have been calibrated and which ones haven't. Correct. Sweet. So he's entering all this data into the, in the software and then we'll know, we'll have a label on these, on all these, these torque wrenches that it was calibrated and then you know we'll set it up on an annual service so we'll come out and recalibrate them this is awesome so we tested at 20 percent 60 percent 100 percent What did you say you do? You do 20? It goes 20% of max, and then 60, and then 100. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's having to set it at 80, 240, 400.
So that means it's 28 foot pounds off. Newton meters, I don't. Or 28 newton meters off? Yeah. And it was roughly five short on the 80. Correct. The higher you get, the more you're allowed to be off. Yeah. Because the numbers increase. So the tolerance is plus or minus 4%. Yeah, I believe that's what it's set to. So 4% on... 4%, uh, yep. Yeah. So we're out of tolerance. It pro yeah, it probably will come to yeah. be out of tolerance. And it all depends, too, where you put your, your reaction point placement on the wrench. You're supposed to test it dead center on the wrench with the wrench yeah. being level. Mm -hmm. So depending on where you're pulling on it, would change the number significantly. Okay, so we were, it was re registering 228 on 240. So that's still within tolerance. Should be. It would be like, roughly 10, you know, 10, so we're a little out. Can you pay extra to make it 100% accurate? <laughs> these some, spring loaded. Some of them are adjustable. Some of them are adjustable in the back. I don't know, I don't know how these work. Foot pounds, 400. this and sending the sending the numbers back to your software it will when I tell it to I'll start the test and then I'll send them over so you do three on each correct so three to get an average right and then send all that data back to the software and it tells you what the percentage is. So it's out. 5.4, 4.6, it's in on the top measurement there. It's out. It's not out by much. So then what do we do? How do we fix it? I can't. That one I don't think is adjustable. You said it's pretty new, right? Yeah. It should be adjustable. Because we usually take them apart from the bottom. All right, so I just talked to Harrison at Sonic. Good news is that we're pretty much in spec. Uh, made a little adjustment to the to the tool on where you're holding the handle. The the spec changes depending on where the handle is held, and so I just take note to choke up on the handle a little bit to get it. It's within you know one percent. So the question we have is, I don't know how to calibrate the darn thing. We don't know how to take these apart or where the adjustment is so that's something I'm gonna figure out for the next video is we're gonna certify these or not and then we're gonna figure out how to make an adjustment all right I figured out how it works you push this pin out and then there's a set screw here or a set Allen uh, and so let's say we were trying to, to torque to like 80 Newton meters then and we were off, you would loosen this, turn that, and adjust that, free spin it to get the tension set up the way we want. All right, so this one's certified. I only moderately jacked the one up that I took apart. I lost the spring and shot out of here somewhere and I can't freaking find it. But now he's doing my uh, the other half inch. This is the 40, 40 to 200. Back are you doing 120? Mm -hmm. Pretty darn good. It's 
fringe is good. Max spec should be 200. Two of three. Three of each. Two of three. So that's a one and a half percent tolerance, roughly. roughly. Sends all the data over here. It'll come in at the top right here. Check, check, check. Sure, bud. I really like industry spec things for personal use. No, Professional that, grade for personal cool. use. That's my whole MO. Like, why can't I have stuff too? You know, why does it only have to be restricted to professionals? Posers like good stuff just as much, if not more. It should be accessible for everybody, right? Yeah. So that's kind of what Obsessed Garage is, is that creating accessibility to the professional grade equipment. And I mean, you could, I pay, I'm gonna pay what, three or 400 bucks here to have all these tools. I mean, this is like several thousand dollars worth of tools. Right. To keep them in spec is worth it. It is, especially the caliber of uh, you know stuff that you're working on. Yeah. Oh, so we get a nice little printout and all yeah. that. You oh, get that's a whole cool. calibration sheet, but nice. you know what your cows were. Cool. And then we get a nice little sticker on all of them. It shows that it's passed. The little three eighths guy is on spec. You know, I knew these didn't need to be to calibrated, but you know, just for the fun of it. Might as well do it. So we're gonna do this little guy, a little quarter incher on the uh, smaller quarter inch setting. So this one goes. What is this one? This one 20, goes five to twenty-five newton meters. Yeah. So the transducer has that was uh, four to five inch pounds. So this one will go up to 400 inch pounds. I don't know what that conversion is, but see, I'm getting this down. You're training me. I'm, by the end of this, I'll be able to do it my darn self. So this transducer has four different click points. Look for 15, pretty good. I'm real good at wasting money. That's my talent. Wasting money certifying stuff that doesn't need certified. <laughs> but it's fun. I guess you're paying for a piece I'm, of mine, right? I'm doing it for the people. There you go. For the video. You and I are the only two people working in America right now, I think. I think so. On a right. day before uh, New Year's. I, I don't like New Year's. It's not, it's, I hate that day. It makes me really uncomfortable. Love it? Yeah, I don't like people hugging me and Yeah. I don't like that. Alright, all certified. We didn't have to do any I'm sad, we didn't have to do any real work on these. Um, but theoretically you would have to adjust. And uh, I'm gonna get the documentation on these from Sonic to figure out how you know how do you actually adjust these. I, I think I've got it figured out, but we'll uh because you could just send them back to Sonic. But I wanna I want to do it here in the truck. I think it'll be fun. So we're going to do the three-quarter inch and uh, check it off the list. And then these are the four that I use the most. I've got freaking 14 of them in there, but these are the ones that I use. And this tells me that all the ones in there are going to be within spec as well. Because I, I take really good care, and I don't use these as much as a, like a real man mechanic would. All right, so we're going to do the big boy. This one's 200 to 1,000. So we have to swap to this. This goes to 600 foot pounds, which is what? 800. Oh, it's not going to work. 813. This goes to 600, yeah. Yeah, but this thing goes to 1,000. So what do you do then? Then we go here. Yeah. All right, so now we got to go to the big machine in order to get. Oh, shoot. I 
while. I didn't even think about it. You'd have to muscle it. That's just 800. So you lose some precision because you got to do it by hand. By hand yeah. Yep. Passed. I wasted a good quick 400 bucks. That's what I'm good at. But I got all my little fancy cert certification certificates. I got some nice stickers. And we got a good baseline for the future. You know, if I... Now, the chances of me having these torque wrenches in a year are pretty slim when I find some new, prettier ones. But I'll be able to sell them for more money because they're certified. They're not certified. All right, so that's a wrap. All of my uh, torque wrenches, the quarter, three-eighths, these are the main ones I use. Uh, actually, this is the main one I use most of the time. Are all within spec. Cost me three hundred and fifty-seven dollars and sixty-five cents uh, to get these four plus the big boy, which I would use on center locks if I ever needed to. Uh, I decided not to do all of mine because that would have cost me a fifteen hundred bucks to do all of them. They're all new anyway, and they were all within spec. Uh, I'll, I'm going to get the um, the documentation from Sonic so that way if you had someone come to do yours you could provide that to them and then uh, Anthony sent me a label so I can send this one in I need it this week but we can send this one in uh, to get uh, calibrated as well and I'll probably do it once every couple of years because I mean you can see these aren't getting beat up and beaten up very much but uh, you can hit up Anthony if you're somewhere in Central Florida all the way down to South Florida um, that's his contact but uh, thanks to him for coming up and uh, letting me shoot a video. It's awesome.